welcome to Witness, bringing you people's stories from all over the globe. I'm Rida Fakhri. The tiny hamlet of Hamburg in South Africa's Eastern Cape is fighting a life and death battle. Like many other communities in rural Africa, its population has been decimated by AIDS. Now the women there are struggling to keep their community alive through the disciplined use of antiretroviral drugs. It can be a difficult job when the patients are often children and almost invariably poorly educated. Today's witness is a sensitive portrait of the characters at the heart of this battle and the project to bind them all together in an extraordinary embroidered altarpiece. Kai's Kama, a story of love. Tonight, what you're taking? Stock ring one, two, three, and one big. Yes. So, so tonight you're taking. What you taking tonight? Show me. Taking the red and red. At what time? In seven o'clock. Okay. Then the stock ring. And taking here in eight o'clock. Okay. okay. Let's do the rest. So that's for Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Power. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Power. Power. Let's go, go move on. started working they called me into that house over there that's roof no roof and his mother w was dying she was confused and fitting and, and then that little kid it was two years ago just was sort of putting his head out from under the behind the door covered with septic sores and he was obviously hiding there and then his mom died and then his grandmother was looking after him. his grandmother died two weeks later and left him in the care of this aunt of his queen. Who then we, we had no treatment for him but we washed him and got his scabies all gone and everything. And then he was kept on getting pneumonia and pneumonia and his CD4 count was four, which is almost I mean he, and so he was the first child I I thought I, because up till then we just assumed that people would die with AIDS, but at that point then I thought I can't let him die, because um, I knew him.
This panel is about, it's about our sadness. A lot of people dying because of the disease. As you've seen here, this is a coffin. These are the people that are mourning. As you've seen, even also there are some children. These children are the children that are left by the parents. got a message that Condile died this morning. Okay, Condile. Yeah. And I phoned the, um, the doctor on Thursday about him. And the doctor shouted at me um, and said he didn't need a lumbar puncture. I don't want these patients to go to these people if you tell for me. Because once they go there, they die. Rather, we look after them. If they go there, they must be just but be done. The, see, the procedure, we think, they need, and then they come back to but us. That's what I wanted him to do, but he didn't do it. What worries me most, sometimes when we get these people, they are pop, 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 and, and then we do all our best, and <coughs> then they, they pick up. And sometimes again, well, this confusion comes out and then we send them away. I mean, we refer them. When they get there, they regress and they die. Look at Notobela, how was she when she came? It means if we had not taken Notobela when she came, she would be dead, long dead by now. She would have She would have lost. But we did our best. Here you are, we're making use of you now. <laughs> I don't want to let us <laughs> make it. I'm a tomb, but I can't draw my tomb. I'm Are you all right? Let me see your tongue. How are you taking your medicine? Every day? Yes. You promise? Yes. Did you take this morning? No. It's shortage. What shortage? It's small stock trip. Last night? Yes. And the, but then you must take two big. Okay. Yes. I think we must go and look at your stock rooms. The key? You've lost your key. 
Lucky I came, because now I find where are your medicines? So how are you taking your medicines? I'm taking. I'm pushing window. Again, and, uh... Okay, just kidding. Come and show me now, okay? Because I'm worried. Because you're never allowed to stop, else you'll get sick again like you were before. Okay. This has to go on forever, this kind of checking of these. Maybe that's why the government delayed so long, because it's just so, it's, it's so difficult. I don't know if the children should be in boarding schools, or I don't know. Uncle Lek was dying. He would have been dead like 18 months ago. But what I've failed is I haven't got the volunteers. He should have a volunteer tagging him all the time, which I'll do now. Come, Kulaleku, we're going to count now, eh? The next thing is you'll be having those sore injections in your bum again if you don't take it. Okay. Okay, in you go. And bring everything, your whole box, all right? <laughs> Kuleko, you know what? I think you're going to have to come and live at the studio. So we can check you. Oh, this is bad. I'm seeing something very bad. When did you fill your box? Did you take on Friday? Yes. But no, why is there one stockroom on Friday? Yes, yeah. Okay, for Sunday. All right. Sit down, sit down. We're going to take a long time. Who can I send to check on you? Jackie or Graham? Who do you want to be the one who checks you? Jackie or Graham? Who? Jackie? Graham? Okay, so I'm coming to check. I'm coming to check on you on Tuesday night, all right? Carol's calling you. Hi. He's coming to stay here, Mrs. Eaton. So, let's take you home and get your things, okay? Because I want him to stay here with us for a week to make sure he's taking his tablets That's morning and night, morning and night. Okay, Mrs. Eaton's going to be very strict with you. All right, very, very strict. All right. Okay. Sorry. Okay, okay. We're here at your house. Okay, bye. Let us see. Come show me. You're right. You're right. He's right today. <laughs> he told me he was right, and I didn't believe him. <laughs> 